uh, the mercury comes in this bottle to you and then you can what you can do for this is for cleaning you know there is you i have taken a two 1000 ml beaker glass beaker and put the whole double layered some handkerchief and then you have to just very carefully lift it this is only for cleaning if you want to fill in the barometer we are cleaning it and then sending you you just rotating just opposite the cover show it from the top now oh, see this beaker is got this is going and then i am rotating the top so that it is just pushing out of the cotton cloth you just see it is coming out i am just rotating you see this pushing it again and again open and push it keep keep hold of this top so that there is no no uh, uh, mercury is filled up on the top room and then slowly push it and then all of it is almost now you can just very carefully open this see this black black color is cleaned mercury is all around this is a black which is impurity i can again push it and then see this the mercury will go out then this is ready for putting in the beaker now i am i will use one more beaker see this tip i am cleaning with the napkin this uh, cotton cloth cotton paper and see this this will have little dust you see this dust is there so when our you clean it so it should be clean thoroughly it should be clean thoroughly now this mercury is clean now i can put it back in a small container small beaker so that the mercury is ready now the next step is this barometer is coming to you you have to hang it to the uh, top there are two notches here one on the top and one at the bottom there is another one at the bottom this barometer is to be hang you have to hang it like this from the wall so that it is like a pendulum now i show you one is in opening this barometer let me show you closely keep this beaker on the side and one filter paper on the top so that no dust there is one funnel we have provided here which is having very small capillary just see very small capillary is there the small capillary is there so and then wire is there one steel wire which is a very flex uh, just like a steel steel now this has a three legs here i am opening three all the three sides just see carefully you know you can move it like this and see this is moving you can open all three sides and one more from the top side i show you once again the top side also has a screw here you have to open it so that this barometer can come out and take it and just see this will come out from the top you just see now it has come out open this in the other side there is a one screw so you, you can open this so that it comes out very easily from the front and the back now this is a barometer let me give you the parts this is a container mercury uh, part which is here uh, there is one here white white Uh, just see there is a white pointer here i can just show you on the black side there is one pointer here just to dia this one is a pointer mercury when you have to adjust it this is to be adjusted with this screw you, there is a one uh, chamber here this is the top this is bottom side top side and this has a graduation 81 to 64 and this moves with the graduation you can see there is a uh, just see and uh, let me show you the close up the vernier is there it has 100 parts uh, 50 on this side and then up to 100 lines and then there are 1 mm is divided into 100 parts so then this when i move this scale when you have to test the mercury this bottom is to be touched to the center the fill there is a glass tube inside now i'll show you how to open the glass tube this first of all you have to open this cup 
very carefully open this it has a rubber rubber uh, ball type part here you can see you can move it up forward and back you can see this is coming down and this is going up so this is one part another is this cup which is leather uh, where only air can pass not the mercury cannot come out you have to open it very carefully just see i am opening it there is a washer keep it here don't take it out this should not be broken when i we are testing it we it is closed when we push it back now i show you there is one uh, glass tube here you have to fill it upside down this is a funnel where we put this funnel on the top here and then see somebody else will put the mercury from this section and then the mercury will slowly fill inside the tube not on the outside when this is completely filled then you have to uh, don't don't fill it outside what you can do you can push your finger here yeah, by any thin finger and close this opening and then you have to take out the mercury from the outer section this section and then move the mercury like this from one section to another slowly the bubbles inside the bubbles will be slowly i'll put it like this slowly it will go to the top and the, it will come here and then slowly i'll put it this way so the air bubble mercury will go down air will come up so once again i'll do it now i'll show you i'm just demonstrating you how it is to be done then after this i fill this outer chamber also with the mercury with this again filling with this i'll show you actually demonstration this is only for guiding you and then close this chamber close tight and then push this and then slowly you have to you have to push it inside then the mercury will be on the bottom it will you can feel that the mer mercury is coming here then you will close it this section now very slowly you will push it now the mercury now it is closed it is not pushing it because of the mercury inside and slowly you have to lift it up this way then open slowly this little more and slowly let the chamber the blow chamber will fill with the mercury and suddenly you will see that the mercury vacuum is created on the top if you just just move it like this you will feel the jar and then you have to hang it slowly you have to hang it like this back again this will be on the uh, this will be on the uh, any wall and then you have to put the first bottom part and then the top part and, push it. and then you close this lock it and then you can see the mercury will be coming to this section there is another video by abram you can see that how to fill and how to put uh, you can take out the bubbles this wire is to be for filling and pushing in the uh, tube before any bubble is there if there is a bubble if you don't see don't push this wire and then this uh, rest of the mercury which you can keep uh, uh, you can approximately 500 gram will be filled 400 to 500 gram this is 600 gram mercury so that you can hang it and then the pressure will be and it will be hang it will be hanging on the wall and then this is to be lowered close this all these are to be closed so that these are uh, hanging properly then when this is hanging properly you can you can tighten it now i am tightening it so that this hangs then it is in the center almost in the center and then this will be hanging almost like this not very little jerk and then this mercury will be up to top point and you have to slowly slowly bring it down so that the mercury just touches the top part there is one uh, notch which you can see there is a notch here which we i showed you notch will be visible and then you can lower this and see that mercury 
or the other way, I have put it the other way. Be careful, you have to. I'm just, I'll show you once again how to put it. The scale should be in the front. Now I just did a little mistake. Now you can see this uh, pointer is visible on the front. The mercury will be touching here. You have to adjust this as per the pressure. Just adjust this and then read from the top. And then this lower bottom is to be touched to the bottom of this where mercury is on the top side. Like this meniscus. Not the bottom but the upper one, round one. And then you can note down what is the pressure. I will just visit the video and other videos by Abron this is abron01 at gmail.com you can call us before filling it uh, it has to be filled upside down share the videos thank you very much